Gang, what's going on? It is Big Rob with MakeBeerEasy.com. And today, finally, the Big Rob has come back to bottling some beer. Oh, let me see. I've uh, There it is sitting there on my workout bench. We are home brewing extraordinaire these days. Now, you don't know who, who I am. You can check me out at MakeBeerEasy.com. Get my whole story, etc., etc. That English Pale Ale has been brewing now. Whoo, man, I don't even know. I would not be surprised if it's close to four weeks. It's been sitting in the fridge. All I do to cold crash, because it's been cold crashing, put it in the fridge to get it ready to bottle. Um, it's been in there now. It'll be pretty much 48 hours, maybe 46 hours. Um, so anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, I find works fine. I've just pulled it out of the fridge. I'm letting it settle. I'll let it settle for about half an hour because I did shake it up a little bit. Um, as I was pulling it out. Um, I also, these are the Spidel. I talked about those on my blog. They're awesome. If you don't have one, I highly recommend them and the Cooper's Fermenters. Those are two of my favorite. Um, I take out the airlock completely out so star sand doesn't get sucked down into it. And then I put a little tin foil actually into the bung itself and then wrap it around. Keep the oxygen out of her. We are going to, we are going to today batch prime this bad boy. Um, I usually like the Cooper's um, carbonation drops, um, much easier, simpler, quicker, um, pretty much even carbonation every single time. Um, but I don't have any, and I do have some dextrose, so we're going to do that. Um, I've bottles all sanitized, they're full of sanitizer. Did those last night, 24 of them, not 24, 21, but 21 liters. I think it's about 19 liters in there, but five gallons, so we won't be using them all. I do use the one liter bottles, glass swing top, they rock. You can check those out on my blog as well. Um, I'll put a link under this video. Um, so they, you, you fill her up with the old star sand. I use star sand, highly recommend that as well um, for the sanitizer. Fill, um, I fill up the sink um, and then I mix the star sand into the sink as per the directions on the back of the star sand bottle. Fill these up halfway, give them a couple of these, let them sit. You only need to let them sit for 10 minutes, but I wasn't gonna go until today. I'm actually gonna use my no chill cube to um, to help out with the batch priming. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer from the primary, call this the secondary over here. Um, I'm gonna have already mix the dextrose um, with water, which I'll show you that when I'm doing it. Basically just gonna take a cup of water and add three quarters of a cup of dextrose to the water, bring it up to a quick boil, make sure it's all dissolved, dump that in here, the sugar mix, and then I'm gonna rack from the primary over into this. Um, won't even have to stir it, don't wanna oxygenate it, don't need to, because the sugar mixture's already gonna be there, so just the motion of the, the beer coming over is gonna be enough to mix it up. And then we're gonna go from the secondary, aka my no chill cube, into the bottles, um, and then we're good to go. I'm actually using a, uh, uh, what do they call these things, an auto siphon. Um, I prefer to use a bottling wand, and if I were using the um, Coopers, that's exactly what I do, I'd have the bottling wand there. But this is what we got, and this is what we're gonna do. So that's what I got for you guys. I'll be back here in a little bit. Just gonna let that settle, get into the sanitizer out of these bottles, and um, we'll be back, oh yeah. All right guys, getting closer and closer. I've got the dextrose, by three quarters of a cup, um, if you want to get all scientific, you can, there's calculators out there um, where you can, oh, you know, this type of beer has this much, is better with this type of carbonation, so you should use this much sugar. On average, it's three quarters of a cup for um, the five gallon batches. So that's what I am doing. Um, it was actually all I had, so it worked out pretty good. I do like, I mean, you know, I say three quarters of a cup and I look at it, and, you know, is it three quarters of a cup a little under? Whatever, it's fine. Um, again, I prefer the carbonation drops because you don't gotta worry about this. Heating up the water, I'm gonna bring that to the boil, I'm gonna dump the um, dextrose in, which is corn sugar. I'm gonna dump that in, let it get um, um, all dissolved, uh, make sure it's sterile, and then I'm gonna put it back in the, the um, cup, which I'll have sanitized with star sand, um, and then I'm gonna dump it into the secondary, okay? Um, you can also use granulated sugar. Um, I it's on my blog. I don't use it often, especially to batch prime. Um, so instead of three quarters of a cup, I think it's like a cup and a quarter, something like that. Um, I do have that on my blog. Um, you can use brown sugar, you can use honey. Um, you're going to use different amounts for each one. Um, so that's it. So she's coming to a little bit of a boil here. I'm going to dump that in, stir it up, dissolve it. Then I'm going to get it into the secondary and we'll be back. Yep, yep. Okay, guys. So 
I put the boiling um, sugar water mixture into the cup. You should probably use a glass cup. Never thought of it. That could have melted the bad boy. It didn't. We're good. Um, poured it into here. Taking the little bung out of the fermenter. Got my siphon all sanitized up. I'm now going to transfer the beer over to the secondary. Then we're going to bottle her. Be back. Yep. Okay, guys. So beer is all transferred there. I just took a glass of it, actually. It's going to be a tasty beer. I like it nice and clear also. Um, so all I'm going to do now is just siphon into the bottles. You want to put the hose all the way down to the bottle so you don't get any oxygen, any bubbling around. Just right down the bottom. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I got 21 of these to fill up or 19 or however many it turns out to be. So that's fun. Anyway, um, I'll probably be back when I'm all done. Woo! There we go, guys. Bottling she got. So we had a little mix-up, which can happen from time to time, especially if you don't get the correct gear. So I ended up with 15 and a half liters. I'm supposed to get 19. What happened? Well, I moved recently. Um, well, in the last little bit. And uh, all my homebrew stuff, because I was still at the pub at the time. Look at me, I'm sweating, man. This bottle and stuff. Woo! She's work. Um, so all my homebrew and stuff is still in storage. Most of it, I should say. Not most of it, some of it, um, i.e. my bottling equipment, because I haven't bottled in so long. So I borrowed a auto siphon from a buddy instead of digging through storage, and his auto siphon's um, basically a wine one, in my opinion. It's way too big for bottling beer, and it didn't have the automatic shut off like the, shut off like the bottling ones would. So it was a bit of a mess, which irritates the hell out of me. But hey, it's homebrew, man. We got 15 and a half bottles of beer. I had a couple samples of the uncarbonated. It's gonna be a tasty brew, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm gonna put these bottles, there they are there. I'm gonna put those away. Uh, room temp, you now 60, I like to keep it around 65 to 70. I don't sweat it too bad somewhere in there. Let them uh, carbonate up. Um, probably bust into one in a week, see how it's doing, just cause I'll be thirsty and it'll be fun to do. So stay tuned for the uh, taste test. Got any questions, reach out to me. Uh, check out my blog, makebeereasy.com, and subscribe and like and all that jazz. Big Rob, he is out of here. Holy jeez, man, look at this sweat. I'm like, who's out of shape? Wow, bottle and beer and breaking a sweat. That's pathetic. Okay, he's gone.